Chapter 20 I copy. These vagrants stand in our way. Eliminate them to prepare for our land invasion. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. Receiving orders. Reporting. Secure the fleet from the full battle status, Captain. Deploy for planetary bombardment, and have Captain Harbid transmit our terms of surrender to the Jarfel government. Yes, sir. And send a further message to all ships. Well done. A report from Tam Green. Yes, sir. The rebels have sent two more freighters into the system. Long-range scans suggest that they offloaded something in the outer system on the way in, but intelligence has so far been unable to locate or identify the drops. Instruct them not to try. We don't want our prey frightened off. We're also getting reports of rebel ships drifting quietly into the Tan Green area. Word from the Death's Head, Admiral. Jarfel has surrendered. Not unexpectedly. Inform Captain Harbid that he will handle the landings and troop deployments. You, Captain, will reconfigure the fleet into defensive formation until planetary defenses have been secured. Yes, sir. Is anything wrong, Admiral? I don't know. I'll be in my private command room, Captain. Join me there in one hour. Perhaps by then I'll have an answer to that question. You never cease to amaze me, Card. Where in space do you dig this stuff up from, anyway? Around. Just around. That doesn't tell me Minox spit. I don't think it was meant to. I agree. It's very interesting. The question is whether we can believe it. The information itself is reliable. My interpretation of it, of course, is certainly open to question. I don't know. It seems like a pretty desperate move to me. I wouldn't say desperate. Call it instead a return to the bold tactics the Rebel Alliance used to be known for. Personally, I think a move like this is long overdue. They've allowed themselves to be put on the defensive far longer than they should have. That doesn't change the fact that if this doesn't work, they're going to lose a lot of ships. Up to two entire sector fleets, if you can believe these numbers. True. They get a major victory against Throm, and an equally major lift in morale. Not to mention a CGT array. Yeah, that's another thing. What do they need a CGT for, anyway? 
It supposedly has something to do with the reason Coruscant has been closed to civilian traffic for the past few days. And that's all I know. Forget what they need it for. What are you proposing we do about it? It looks to me like the New Republic is fairly desperate to get their hands on a CGT. If they're willing to fight for one, I assume they'd be even more willing to pay for one. Seems reasonable. So what do you want us to do? Sneak into Tan Green before they get there? Not really. I thought that while everyone was busy fighting at Tan Green, we'd pick up the CGT at Bilbrini. You're joking! Not a bad idea, really. We slip in before the attack starts, then grab the CGT and run. Through half the Imperial fleet? Come on. I've seen the kind of firepower they keep there. I doubt they'll have more than a skeleton defense there. Unless you seriously think Thrawn won't anticipate and prepare for the New Republic's move on Tangreen. Point. They can't afford to let the New Republic have a victory there, can they? Particularly not at Tangreen. That's where General Bel Iblis successfully hit them once before. It won't be easy. Thrawn was furious about that raid we pulled. They've probably redone their whole security setup by now. All the better. They won't have found the holes in it yet. Are you in or out? I might be in. But only if you can get a confirmation on the time of this tan green thing. I don't want Thrawn anywhere within a hundred light years of Bill Bringy when we hit the place. That shouldn't be a problem. We know the systems where the New Republic is assembling their forces. I'll send some of my people to poke around and see what they can turn up. What if they can't get anything? I need to have Ghent write us onto their payroll anyway. As long as he's in the system, he might as well check on their battle plans, too. <laughs> you know, God, I've never seen anyone play both ends against the middle the way you do. Okay, I'm in. Glad to have you. I've already seen Thrawn's clones in action. You bet I'm in. Besides, if we win, maybe I can get that land back the Empire stole from me on Yukio. I'll put in a good word for you with the New Republic. All right, then. I'm taking the wild card to Coruscant, but I'll be leaving Aves behind to coordinate my part of the attack group. He'll give you the operations plan when you check in. Sounds good. You know, Cart, I just hope I'm around to see the day the New Republic catches up with you. Whether they give you a medal or just shoot you. Either way, it'll be a terrific show. I rather hope to be there that day myself. Good flight, gentlemen. I'll see you at Bilbringi. Stop! I apologize for the quality here. Macrobinocular records can be enhanced only so much before the algorithms start breaking down. But even so, I think you can all see what's happening. The Star Destroyer's blast is not, in fact, penetrating Yukio's planetary shield. What appears to be that same blast is actually a second shot, fired from a cloaked vessel inside the shield. In other words, the Empire's new superweapon is nothing more than an extremely clever fraud. We'll put out an alert to all planetary forces that if the Empire tries it again, all they need to do is direct a saturation fire at the spot where the turbolaser blasts appear to penetrate the shield. Fraud or not, it was still one highly impressive show. The position and timing were exquisitely handled. What do you think, Leia? That insane Jedi Luke locked horns with on Joe Mark? I don't think there's any doubt. Admiral Grayson, have you the latest report on the Bilbringi operation? Yes. Yes. If I may have everyone's attention... Well? I trust this is something that couldn't wait. For you, Your Highness. The coordinates of the planet Wayland. That was fast. I was under the impression this place was going to be a lot harder to find. 
Apparently it wasn't. Show it to us. So that's the Emperor's rat's nest. I always wondered where he hid all those interesting little tidbits that seemed to mysteriously vanish from official storehouses and depots. If that's really the place. Whether this planet is the actual cloning center or not, there's nothing we can do about it until the Bill Bringy operation is over. We're not sending any backup? Impossible! All available ships and personnel are already committed to the Bill Briggy attack. Too many regions and systems have been left undefended as it is. Especially when we don't even know if this is the right place. It could just as easily be an Imperial trap. It's not a trap. Mara's not working for the Empire anymore. We only have your word for that. It still doesn't matter. All indications are that their landing was undetected. Would you really want to risk that element of surprise by sending another ship in after them? Then perhaps the Bill Bringy attack should be postponed. I'm afraid that's out of the question, Councillor Failure. Aside from all the preparations that would have to be discarded, it's absolutely imperative that we clear out these cloaked asteroids hanging over our heads. Why? The shield protects us. We have adequate supplies for many months. We have full communication with the rest of the New Republic. Is it merely the fear of looking weak and helpless? Appearances and perceptions are important to the New Republic. And properly so. The Empire rules by force and threat. We rule instead by inspiration and leadership. We cannot be perceived to be cowering here in fear of our lives. This is beyond image and perception. The Bothan people knew the Emperor, knew his desires and his ambitions, perhaps better than all who were not his allies and servants. There are things in that storehouse which must never again see light. Weapons and devices which Thrawn will someday find and use against us unless we prevent him from doing so. And we will do so. And soon. But not until we've damaged the Bilbringi shipyards and obtained a CGT ray. And what of Captain Solo and Council Organa Solo's brother? All we can do for them right now is continue with our plans to draw the Grand Admiral's attention toward our supposed attack on Tan Green. What was in the mountain, she wondered, that he was so afraid Thrawn would get hold of? Perhaps it was just as well she didn't know. Come in, Captain. What news from Tan Green? The rebels are still moving forces into strike positions, sneaking their devious way into our trap. How very convenient of them. Mon Calamari Art. What do you think? Very interesting. Isn't it? Those two pieces in particular, they were created by Admiral Akbar himself. I didn't know Akbar had any interest in art. A minor one only. These were composed some time ago, before he joined the rebellion. Still, they provide useful insights into his character, as do those. Artwork once chosen personally by our Corellian adversary. Where were these from? His old Imperial Senate office? Those were. Those were from his home. Those from his private ship. Intelligence found these records more or less accidentally, in the data from our last Obroa Sky information raid. So the rebels continue to edge toward our trap, do they? Yes, sir. We've had two more reports of rebel support ships moving into positions at the edge of the draw key system. But not obviously. What I mean is they're being highly secretive about their preparations. Quietly detaching intelligence and support ships from other assignments, moving and reforming sector fleets to free capital ships for service, that sort of thing. 
never obviously, always making Imperial Intelligence work hard to put the pieces together, almost as if Tan Green was indeed their true target. Are you saying it isn't? That's correct, Captain. But if they're not going to hit Tan Green, then where? The last place we would normally expect them. Pilbringy? Sir, that's insane. Of course it is. The insanity of men and aliens who've learned the hard way that they can't match me face to face. And so they attempt to use my own tactical skill and insight against me. They pretend to walk into my trap, gambling that I'll notice the subtlety of their movements and interpret that as genuine intent. And while I then congratulate myself on my perception, they prepare their actual attack. We could intensify intelligence activity in the Bilbringi region, or perhaps Delta Source could confirm it. But we have no need of confirmation. This is the Rebels' plan, and we will not risk tipping our hand with anything so obvious as a heightened intelligence presence. They believe they've deceived me. Our overriding task now is to make them certain they continue to believe that. After all, Captain, it makes no difference whether we crush them at Tan Green or at Bilbringi. No difference whatsoever.